starts now. And first at 11, the city of Dayton's stance on red light and speed cameras could cost the city a lot of money. New wording in the state budget would essentially punish Dayton and other cities for not following the state's lead. Tyler Yutska is live with new reaction at 11. Yeah, Mayor Nan Whaley speaking out against the legislature's action. Now, it's been a long road here with the traffic enforcement cameras that started here at home four years ago. 2011, traffic enforcement cameras are installed across Dayton with the goal of catching speeders and drivers running red lights. According to a report filed that year by 2 News, more than 8,000 citations were issued within a few weeks' time. Legal challenges followed with the Ohio Supreme Court getting involved. Legislators voted for a change in state law that took effect in March, requiring every city that uses traffic cameras to have an officer present. Dayton is one of three cities fighting that move, saying it's too costly and arguing the cameras are working. People go slower, they actually follow the speed limit, which is a law. That ability to have technology to do policing with technology allows us to put our police officers on more important issues like uh, real crime that is, is a danger to our community. Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley spoke out Wednesday after the Ohio legislature threatened to take away state funding equal to the amount of fines the city receives from the traffic cameras as punishment for not having an officer present as required by law. The state legislature, instead of going about the business of trying to get a budget passed, have decided to mess with state, cities. This isn't surprising. This is what they constantly do. Critics argue the cameras are just a way for cities to boost revenue, and some say there's no simple way to appeal a ticket from a red light camera. However, Dayton city leaders have been standing by the safety factor from the beginning, reporting a 35% reduction in crashes related to drivers running red lights since the cameras were installed. My job as mayor to do everything within our legal authority to keep our citizens safe. Photo enforcement cameras have been upheld by the Ohio Supreme Court not once but twice as an exercise of home rule. Now the other cities fighting the change are Akron and Toledo. Nan Whaley says the state is missing the point of these cameras. Now she says safety is her main concern here in Dayton. Live in Dayton, Tyler Yutska, 2 News, working for you.